Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. And it's another foreign coin video for you. Uh, here we are going to talk about these coins right here from Turkey. In addition, we've got a couple other ones to cover. We're gonna get into this one right here, much more worn out. And this one right here, a little bit better shape. But let's first start with these ones right here. Now, when I first was researching this video, in my first attempt at actually recording it, I was uh, researching 500 lira coins and came across the fact that 1995 and 1996 were very rare. There's only a few thousand of the 500 lira coins that were made out of Italy dated 1995 and 1996. Started searching on eBay, couldn't find anyone, any of them and thought that maybe I had hit the jackpot as far as getting some rare uh, foreign coins. After recording a few minutes of the video, I realized that I was looking at 5,000 lira coins and not 500 lira coins. So I had to go relook up the mintage for the 5,000 lira coin and found out that the 1995 and 1996, there were uh, 75 million made in each year. So I went from thinking I had a coin which there were a few thousand of to having a coin in which there were 75 million of. But that happens a lot with coin collecting. So at least I can make a more educational video about the right coin rather than the first attempt which I made talking about the 500 lira coin which looks exactly like this one, except it's just missing a zero on this part of the coin right here. So the 5,000 Lira coin was made from 1995 until 2001. It has been demonetized. The value of it is 5,000 Lira, which translates to 5,000 TRL, as these coins are from Turkey. Some other countries do have the Lira as well, but they are not abbreviated the TRL. Its metal content is brass, has a weight of six grams. So although it has a similar diameter to the United States penny, weighs about double what you would expect for the United States penny. That's because its thickness is much thicker. So here's the edge of the coin. As you can see, uh, we're looking at a pretty thick coin right here. Now, as far as the high and low mintages for this coin goes, uh, the first four years that they were produced were really the only high years. We had 75, 75, 63, 52 million then 99, 2000, and 2001, that's when we get into the uh, single single million digit amount. So we had 7 million, 1 million, and 8 million. What you're looking at as far as the reverse design of the coin, I'll uh, take them aside so we can just zoom in on this one right here. So what we see on this reverse side, let me adjust the lighting for you, here we go. So we see the date down here, we see a tulip flower right here, we see the face value of the coin, and then we see the symbol for Turkey right up here. When we flip it over, we're on this side now. This is the obverse. So we see a portrait of Atutka facing the left. We also see Turkey going around the outside of the coin. Now this coin right here, the 5,000 lira coin, you can buy on eBay for around a dollar. You can pick them up at your local coin shop if they happen to turn up. But if you're looking for uh, this specific coin, you're gonna have to go on eBay or head over to Turkey maybe. Um, although they're probably not using them in Turkey as they have been demonetized. So we've got the 5,000 lira. Now let's introduce some of the older coins from Turkey that I showed you briefly at the beginning of the video. We've got this one right here zoom in for you and adjust the lighting on it. So we see Turkey at the top right here. Now this coin is the uh, 10 Krunus coin. This one right here was made from 1958 until 1974. So a little bit older than the uh, Lira, 5,000 Lira coins that we're looking at before. The abbreviation for this coin is 10 Cruz, which is abbreviated dot one TRL. So we went from looking at a 5,000 TRL to a 10th of a TRL. So quite the drop off in value between these two coins right here, which kind of explains why Turkey has been having some uh, monetary issues lately. So we've got a 5,000 uh, TRL and we've got a 0.1 TRL. It has been demonetized like the 5,000 TRL, but you can see there must've been some hyperinflation between the date of this coin right here and that more modern 5,000 uh, lira coin. Now what we're looking at right now is the obverse of the coin. The obverse of the coin features, let me adjust the lighting for you, 
Um, the obverse features a star in crescent. So that's the uh, symbol that you see right in the center right here. So we've got the star and the crescent. Then we'll flip it over. Then on this side, we see a oat stock, which divides the uh, date and the face value below. So we see the date of 1963 and the face value of the coin, which is 10 cruis. Again, this coin was made from 1958 until 1974. The one that I've got right here is dated 1963. There are 10,390,000 of these that were produced in 1963. The highest mintage year comes a few years later in 1969, in which there are 21 million of them made. And finally, the one lire coin. So uh, this is a tenth of a lire. And then this one right here is one lire. However, um, the value on the reverse of the coin has faded so much that you can't actually see it but you see the wreath going around the outside, which indicates uh, what coin it is. So on the obverse, which we see right here, it's very faded, I'm well aware of that, but it's cool that this coin from 1948 from Turkey is still surviving and doing well. So we see a crescent moon and star. So we see the crescent moon right there and the star, and then the date down here, 1948. Now the mintages on this are pretty low. There are only 16,869,000 uh, of these that were made. On the reverse side, this is where you're gonna have to kind of use your imagination right here, but we see a wreath going around the outside, and then there's the value of the coin is actually within the wreath right here, and it just says one, there's a vertical one, and then lear. Now you can't see it because this coin is too faded, so we would see one and then Lear going down the bottom right here. But we see the wreath and we see the date. And I was able to verify by the size of this coin and the weight that this is in fact the one Lear coin from Turkey. Now we do have some edge lettering on the coin, which just says uh, Turkey as well. Again, it's tough to uh, pick it up on the lighting. So let's recap the different coins that we looked at today. We saw this one uh, one. TRL coin right here. We saw this coin that was worth uh, one tenth of a TRL. And then we started off with this one right here, the 5,000 Lira coin, which was made from 1995 until 2001. So generally, whenever there's some hyperinflation with a country, we can go pretty quickly uh, from a coin that's worth one tenth to a coin that's worth 5,000. Obviously, there are some issues there with the Turkey currency. That's why it's uh, the hyperinflation occurred. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you're into coin collecting, uh, specifically foreign coins, US coins, whatever coins you wanna see, please do subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to stay in contact. Uh, hit that bell button if you wanna get notified every time I post a video. And uh, best of luck coin collecting out there, everyone. Enjoy.